Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Welcome, welcome. So this afternoon, I am going to do a really quick tutorial on how we make a cemetery cone. So we have several different um, cemeteries here in town, and I'm sure that's the same in all places. And some of our cemeteries have just vases that hold cones of flowers, and then others have large stones that we put like a stone topper on. Today, I am going to show you how to do a cone arrangement for a vase at the cemetery. So I'm gonna start out, so I have, these are all artificial flowers. Now, the reason I am doing these colors is because they wanted, um, they just wanted bright, um, bright flowers. They loved blues and reds and yellows, and so that's the reason we chose these colors. It's for um, a male's grave, and so that's why we have these colors. I always like to start out with a vase, and so I'm going to start out with this vase, and I am going to drop my comb right down into the vase, and I'm going to place the um, moss right on top to cover the mechanics. And so, Victoria, you can take a picture there. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is, this is how the, um, this is called leather leaf. It's just a silk leather leaf. And it comes in like this little sleeve. I'm going to take my silk leather leaf. It's got long stems. I don't know if you can see them. I'm just going to take those stems and I'm just going to trim them down. We don't need them this long for this cone, so I am just taking just the bottom parts of those, that off, so I just trim that up. And it usually takes about one bundle for a cemetery cone. So what I'm gonna do is let me show you my glue pan over here. So it's not a pretty glue pan, but this is a large glue pan. All it is, is it is just a skillet. It is just a regular skillet that you would use in your kitchen. We turn it on low and we put um, pan glue and their little, their little tabs of glue. We drop it down in there and so it melts into the skillet. It just helps me, instead of using a hot glue gun, just to dip it directly into the skillet. So I'm gonna take my greenery and I'm gonna dip it down right into that, um, that glue, and I'm just gonna tuck it right into my vase. Pull it back, dip, and I'm just gluing it right down into this cone. Now, years ago, we would take a pick machine, and we would pick every piece of this greenery and stick it into this foam. The picks, what they would do is grip the foam so that it wouldn't easily come out. Well, my wonderful friend, Donna, is the one who said, you do not have to pick every piece of that greenery. You can use a hot glue pan and glue that greenery right down into that that cone. And let me tell you, that was a game changer for me. It takes so much less time so all I'm doing is, I don't know if you can see, I'm dipping it into this glue. You can use a glue pan. I'm just sticking it right down in to that piece of styrofoam. So I am greening it out all the way around, just like I would a fresh arrangement. And you can kind of, the wonderful thing about silks is you can kind of twist and turn and, and make them do what you tell them to, which is always a plus. They mind you better than fresh flowers do. All right, so there's my greenery. And you can see how I've kind of arranged it all the way around. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my flowers. Now, they come on a bush. So you can see how it's got lots of different stems on one little bush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and cut the stems. Now, I don't, I'm not necessarily measuring. I'm just cutting them off of this, this one. I'm cutting them apart. So I don't, I don't have them measured out to be the size that I necessarily need yet. But I just wanted several stems already cut so I didn't have to, to work so hard. So I'm just taking and cutting 
several stems. I love those peonies, aren't they pretty? Such a big showy flower. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my larger flowers first. So this stem of peonies is really big, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut it down just a smidge. I'm gonna use it as a weight flower. So that, and what I mean by that is it's going down low because it looks heavy. Okay, of course it's not any heavier than any of the flowers, but visually it looks heavier. So I'm just taking it, dipping it in my glue, and just sticking it right into my piece of foam. Turn my glue up just a little bit. So I'm just pushing it right down into that, into that foam. Okay, so I have the peonies all the way around, okay? Next, I'm gonna come in with these pretty lilies. Look how pretty that red lily is. Dipping it in that glue, and I'm just gluing it right into that foam. Okay, so you can kind of see how I just tucked it right down in there. And all I'm doing really, you can see how I'm rotating this vase. I'm just going around and around, just make sure, making sure that it's pretty all the way around, that it's got pretty flowers all the way around. Next time I come in with my blue. Now some of my blue pieces aren't quite as long as I would like for them to be. So I'm going to take some wood picks and some corsage tape. And let me run and grab the corsage tape real quick. Um, because I want to make sure that they're not gonna pull off those wood picks. with lots of length. Um, they came on that bush, so they don't have a lot of length on them. So you can see it's kind of short, right? I'm going to want to use it as a spike. I'm going to want to use it with some height, okay? So to give me that height, I'm going to take this wood pick and I'm going to lay that that flower right onto that wood pick. I'm going to just twist it around and around and around. I'm just taping around that wire, okay? So I'm going around and around just to cover it. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna help hold that flower in place. I'm gonna dip that guy, that pick, right into the glue, tuck that fella right in there. But you see how it gave me some height in that arrangement. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take my flower and lay it right onto the pick, just like that. Wrap it around and around. So it's on the pick. And then I am going to tape that pick and that flower so they stay in place, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to do that to all of these blue flowers to give us a little bit of, of length. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take these flowers just like I did the red flowers. And I am just tucking them right into this arrangement. And I'm just making sure that I get blue all the way around in this arrangement. And I love the fact that this blue has a little bit of a little red throat. It has those little red um, pieces down in there, so it really makes it match that red flower well. We've got a couple that are, that are short, so I'm just gonna tuck them down low in this arrangement. All right, next I'm going to come in with our yellow. So I have yellow roses, and with our yellow roses, I'm going to do them exactly like I've done everything else. Just dip it in the glue and tuck it in this arrangement. So let me tell you that a lot of times I have seen when I've gone out to the cemetery that people don't take them, don't take the flowers off of the bush and they just stick the bush down into the vase. That, the reason it doesn't, um, it doesn't have much form is because you haven't taken the stems off the actual bush. So if you will take the stems off the bush and just kind of stick them and arrange them a little bit in a, in a, in a foam, 
um, it's going to, number one, it'll stay in the base better. The foam is just tighter, so it stays tighter down in that base and it won't blow off the grave. And it also just gives it just more form. It looks more like a pretty arrangement. All right, guys, there we go. There is our silk cemetery piece. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like videos like these, um, please follow our, um, our page. And you can always check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Guys, have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,